Uh, so hi everyone in this particular post we will be talking about a major improvement done over the traditional attention mechanism that is flash attention and how it improves over the existing attention mechanism so let's get started so before we jump on to attention mechanism i think you all must have heard of the paper attention is all you need which has been a breakthrough paper i think it has been a revolutionary paper in the field of nlp and eventually it was this paper which paved way for chat gpt and generative ai so if you don't know more large language models be it chat gpt or llama and most of the llms uses attention mechanism at their core to understand the context of the language and reply in the same way so basically attention can be taken as the heart of the llms most of the llms not all now I won't be deep diving into the mathematics of attention because I have already covered that in one of my uh, blogs as well as on my YouTube video, so you can check that out. Now, uh, moving on, we'll be talking about the limitations of this great idea, this great mathematical concept. There are minor issues with this idea, uh, so we will be discussing that first, and then we will check out how flash attention improves on that. So the first one is a quadratic memory requirement. So, in case of self-attention, a major issue is that as increases the sequence length of the input increases or the output increases, the attention mechanism memory requirement scales quadratically. So, it is just going skyrocketing as the length is increasing. If the length is if memory requirements are increasing, mostly computational complexity also increases, and it becomes memory inefficient, as you can read here. One more issue is it becomes numerically unstable as well. Now, what is that? So basically, numerical stability is a property of an algorithm, where small errors in the input or rounding error should not lead to big deviations in the final answer. So basically, an algorithm is called as a stable algorithm if minor errors in the starting of the calculation. So for example, you are doing addition. So instead of doing two plus three, you are doing two point zero one plus three. So if the actual answer is five, now the answer would be five point zero one. So the final answer doesn't deviate a lot from the expected output. Now, if the problem is unstable, even small mistakes can lead to a big deviation in the final answer, and the final answer would be completely off. So, for example, if you say you are calculating uh, the power of ten for some number, uh, now you are calculating two raised to power ten, but uh, due to some mistake, it is not two point zero one raised to power ten. Now, this would be a uh, unstable algorithm that means numerically unstable because this will lead to a big change in the final answer so this is what is numerical instability is so attention mechanism suffers from this problem now flash attention uh, optimizes the uh, existing attention mechanism by improving on the time and space complexity and also considering the numerical instability so let's understand what are its major attributes so flash attention brings in four major concepts one is tiling so tiling is basically a very fancy name used for breaking up the tension matrix into smaller more manageable tiles so basically if you know the tension matrix is a huge matrix so instead of calculating all the calculations over the huge matrix we would be breaking it into small tiles hence reducing the memory footprint a flash attention also optimizes on the way data is accessed in the memory so this is something related to computer hardware I am also not jumping much into it, but just for your information, it minimizes cache misses and improves data locality. Third is parallelization. So it leverages parallel computing over the tiles that we have created in the first step, hence reducing the computation time. And also, it also implements techniques to maintain numerical stability of the algorithm. Hence, minor errors in the starting won't lead to a big change in the final case. If we consider an example, assume that we have a sequence of four tokens A, B, C, D. Uh, now we will be calculating the attention score for each of the pair of the token. I think I am not reverting back to attention because uh, revising it will take a lot of time. I am assuming that you already know how attention works. The QKV matrices, if you remember the three major matrices, the final attention matrix might look something like this. So if you have four tokens, it would be leading to four into four, sixteen entries. We apply softmax and wait. That's it. So this is how a standard attention mechanism works. This is very shallow explanation. Better check out the previous video on how attention works. Now talking about how flash attention improves on it, it divides the input the attention matrix into 
tiles. Now in this case, as we have a four cross root matrix, we are dividing it into a two cross root tiles. So here you can see that we have divided the tiles like this. Uh, so there are four tiles that we are getting. So if you look here, this this becomes the first tile. The one two two one. 3, 4, 3, 4 is the second tile, 3, 2, 4, 2 is the third tile and 1, 4, 3, 1 is the fourth tile. Now efficient memory access, it, now all the operations, all the parallelization are getting done on the tile and hence eventually it optimizes on the memory as well as on the computation time. For numerical stability, apply softmax within each tile ensuring numerical stability because now the size has been reduced for the matrix, numerical stability has been achieved. And then combine the results as we did for standard attention. So in this way, flash attention makes attention me mechanism more efficient and scalable and more deployment friendly by reducing space and time complexity by using tiling and then efficient memory access and parallelization and then improving on the numerical stability. Thank you so much.